Alright guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be making a simple UDP flutter so first you're going to want to go to file, new, project and then name it whatever you want, I'll just call it UDP P flood and then wait for it to build and then we're going to need one timer Here's our timer. We're going to need three text boxes. So, one, two, three. And two buttons are stop and go. That should take care of that. And then we'll try to make it look nice. and get some labels to organize that so this will be for the IP port data IP port data We'll line these up close. All right, I think that's that's the best that we can get. And now we'll name this start and stop. Choose project name to UDP flood. Show icon false and that takes care of the look so we have to go to the code so right click the form view code this will start so let's go to the beginning which will be imports so our imports is going to be system system dot net dot sockets and then imports System dot net and imports system dot text and our last import is system dot data. That'll be all for the imports. And so now we're gonna get to the coding part so first we're going to do our timer tick so to get the code for that double click your timer and then here we're just going to type in flood flood by itself Leave that alone it'll give us an error now because we haven't made the sub for our flood which we'll do right now private oh no I think it's just sub sub flood and then we'll start coding the flood dim new byte as byte new byte in that so dim new byte oh wait what did I do dim new byte as byte equals new byte and these things googly brackets next we'll do dim UDP user as um, oh no it's not UDP user it's dim IP underscore address as IP address that'll be it for that and then dim UDP user 
as new UDP client then IP underscore address equals IP address dot praise oops parse or something like that and then let me think what goes next oh and then we're gonna put text box one dot text that is this is just saying that this is where the, the IP is gonna be at which will be inside here and we'll save it just in case something happens and then we'll do UDP user dot connect IP address text wait up IP address text box two dot text which will this line of code it'll connect to the IP address with this port which will be inside here and you want to select the port that's open which should be 80 for home networks and then after this we're gonna do new byte oh, damn it new byte equals encoding dot ASCI dot get byte capital B byte and then text box three dot text and then UDP user dot send new byte comma new byte dot length gth and that'll be it for that I'll fix the errors later or oh, close that off and then we will double click our timer oh no we already did that start the start we'll just do timer one dot start which it'll then start the timer and then the timer will call the flood the flood will start sending that the bytes and data to the IP address and then stop double click that and timer dot stop oh, timer one <clears throat> timer one dot stop and then let me check what is wrong here the new light. Hmm. I'll I'll be back once I find the problem alright guys I am back and I have found the problem the problem was this was not supposed to be spaced out it's a new byte like that same thing over here new byte and it leads to another problem this one should be new byte that text that length um, new byte and I'll come back once I solve this problem alright guys I'm back I found the problem it's simple space not supposed to be a space there or maybe it's supposed to be a dot no um, let me check it. It should be fine. I'll be back when I fix this problem. Alright guys, I fixed, I, I found the problem. I forgot to put bytes here with an S. And that should wrap it all up. 
So we'll save it. We'll start it. And we'll make sure that there's nothing here. That there's no runtime error. So I'll put 192.168.166. Or it will be 80. Data. The higher numbers that you have for data, the stronger the hits will be. So just put some random numbers. Don't go past 4. I would not recommend going past that. And then just press start. And it should start the flood. And then stop to stop it. And if you guys want to learn how to get other people's IP addresses, I'll make a tutorial for that later. But that is it for right now. It's nothing fancy. It's just a basic UDP flood. And the download link will be in the description. Tell me if you guys like this. I'll start making more Visual Basic tutorials if you guys do. Otherwise, I'll just do my usual video games. And I'll see you guys next time.